I feel I feel bad that people I get I can like really feel for the people that struggle with not having that push because of mental health. Mm -hmm. But I know people that are like just lazy. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, like, come on. Like, yeah. You got to you got to want better mm -hmm. for yourself. Right. But that, then they have people that mess me like, do you really need that? It's like, I want it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's okay too. I think that's another thing, right? Like people like they'll get down on themselves even like, man, like I think they really want something, but I do it to myself a lot where I know, like, I don't know, even that dirt bike that's sitting there. Like I don't, when I bought that, I didn't need it at all. And like, is it, I don't know. There's, is there a real reason to have it? It's just fun. Like, and I would tell myself that things are bad. Like if it's just fun, I shouldn't really have that. Cause I don't need it. You know, I know you can be happy with nothing, just living in a little dirt hut somewhere. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like I don't live in a little dirt hut somewhere. Like yeah. that's just not really the world we live in here. And like, if you're out and you're working and you like, you can, there's nothing wrong with just buying something for the sake of wanting it. Yeah. Like, I think it's just being aware of that and knowing, like, knowing that you just want it, not continually buying things because you think it's going to make you feel better and getting stuck in, yeah. like, some loop like that, which is what a lot of people do, right? It's that instant gratification, whether they're buying food or, like, a new cell phone or a video game or, um, you know, constantly getting a new vehicle every year yeah. and whatever it is, which, like... I don't think any of those things are bad as long no. as you're just not relying on those for happiness. Yeah, so, exactly. Or thinking that it's happiness. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say like I've like if the amount of changes I made to my appearance in the past probably year, year and a half or like I, I never had like different haircuts, dyeing my hair. I pierced my nose twice. Like <laughs> I used to make fun of people that have nose piercings, but I came down like, you know, through my travels, I realized I'm like, Hey, I'm just insecure because I want it. And I don't think I can rock it. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I, I was insecure about it. Mm -hmm. Having like pink hoodies and stuff like that. Like I was insecure about it because I was like, ah, I'd like to, I'd like to have that look, but I don't think I could rock it. So I just make fun of it or bash it, you mm -hmm. know? And so over the past couple of years, I'm just like, why am I like that? Like, why am I even making that comment? To, to, <laughs> why am I even saying that to somebody? Like, it's so unneeded. It's so much energy wasted. Yeah. Right? So it's like, it seems it comes in, like, just bashing people that you're in, pre, are in your previous life, previous past. Like, mm -hmm. you're just, like, making fun of why. It's so wasted energy, right? And so, I, like, this past couple of years, it's like, fuck it, I'm getting my nose pierced. <laughs> fuck it, I'm buying that pink hoodie. Fuck, I'm buying that bright yellow hoodie. And it's like, I get comments all I'm like, you look like an idiot. And it's like... I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it literally yeah. doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, man. And that's that's why I try and pre like I have a lot of people that come to me like, oh, like this person says this or these people say this. I'm like, does it matter? Like uh, my like my hair my uh, barber uh, Gino, he's like who I I always go get my hair cut from. Not just because he, I love the way he cuts my hair, but the fact that he started in his basement suite cutting hair mm -hmm. and uh, now he's got like. 10 barbers, five, like 10 hairstylists upstairs. He's got this massive, beautiful shop and it's all through hard work, mm -hmm. all through putting the hard work in. And I just sit there and I look, whenever I go there, I'm like, this is what it means to be like, keep elevating yourself, never mm -hmm. being satisfied with just you and your buddy cutting hair, always wanting to push for more mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right. And I, I confide to him. Right. And I'm, I asked him yesterday, I said, is it a bad thing to always want more? Like I'm always, cause always searching for the next thing. Mm -hmm. Like I bought my, bought my townhouse and then right away I was like, I wasn't satisfied. I was like, I want to, I want another property. And <laughs> I, ate, I worked my ass off for eight months, saved up the money for a, a condo and mm -hmm. it, or saved up money for another spot. And then a, a con apartment building that me and my girlfriend were living in, like ended up uh, the, the suite. They were selling it randomly for super cheap. So I was able, it was loot. It was a luck. It was yeah, free. yeah. And I was like, Oh, I had the money. So I bought it. Right. But I asked him, I was like, as soon as I bought that, it wasn't like, it was the same thing. It was like, what do I need next? Right. And like, mm -hmm. I want to, like, I think the ultimate goal for myself personally is to be a, a father and a husband. Yeah. Like, that's the ultimate, like, apex for me mm -hmm. is to go out. Yeah, like, you know, I don't need the, the most money, but I do want to be like to the people in my life. Like, that guy was a, an amazing father, an mm -hmm. amazing husband kind of thing. But I asked him and he said his, his, his exam or his response was exactly what I say to everything else. And I just was like, yeah, you're right. He goes, if I told you that it's bad to have 
like always search for something more and more and more and more. He's like, if I told you, yeah, it's a bad thing. He's like, would you listen to me? I was like, no. And he's <laughs> like, so who cares? Who cares what, why even ask the question? And I was like, yeah, you're right. Why, why do I even ask myself those questions? Cause it's just, it's just going to put a restriction on me. Mm -hmm. I would hate to be in 30 years, tell my son or my daughter being like, yeah, you know, I was actually going and I just stopped <laughs> and I just stopped. And I was just like, this is okay. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm, now putting a restriction on myself right and it's like some people are happy with like one thing right and there's nothing wrong with that but i find that i've m met a lot of people that are unhappy down the road just because they've been stagnant for so long mm -hmm. and i think that's like what i fear most is being like not like failure like scares the shit out of me mm -hmm. like and it just like drives me at the same time though like i mm -hmm. refuse to fail yeah like like a prime example at work, I to drill is like a super hard thing where I work to be a driller. Not look, minute, very few people can handle it. Mm -hmm. And I was pretty well put my body through hell for three months. Like I could barely move waking up in the morning, picking up this drill and drilling this rock. But I was like, kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. Because my brother was even like, man, if you're too sore, like don't do it. Because he doesn't do it, but he, he wants to. But it was just the opportunity came to me first. Yeah. But he was like, just stop. Like, why are you doing that yourself? I was like, I can't. <laughs> I can't be walking around here being the guy that, yeah, he couldn't drill. Mm -hmm. Like, once I do something, I need to do it. Like, and that's it. That's how I try and tackle everything. I'm doing this. I'm doing 100%. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's the, I don't know. Like, to me, that's the way to do it, too, is, like, just... I mean, I think I'm like quite perfectionist wise where like when I do something, I want to do it the best that I can. I don't like to like half ass shit or like just, you know, if I decide I'm doing it, then I'm doing it. Um, yeah. and it's the same thing. I, I think the only thing for me is like I heard someone say. It's not really failure, but it's the difference between quitting or just giving up, um, whereas like quitting would be when you still want the end goal, but you're not willing to do the work Yeah, and giving up is when you actually are you're doing the work, but you decide that you don't want that goal anymore and you yeah. decide you're going to switch routes and do something else. Yeah. So for me, that kind of like a lot of times I would not stop because I'm like, I don't want to be that person who didn't do it, but I'm like, I also know that I don't want that anymore. So for me to become okay and go, you know what? Like, I know I don't want that and being comfortable telling people that. And cause you know, a lot of times I'd be like, I don't want to tell them I stopped doing because they're going to think I couldn't do it or like whatever. When that was, you know, being comfortable, being like, you know what? Like, I just really didn't want that anymore. And they're yeah. like, oh, okay. Like, that's a powerful thing to be able to do too. Where oh, you're like, 100%. man, like they just fully decided they actually didn't want that. And they're switching routes completely, which is like, I don't know. It, that, that can be a lot too. 